Today was my first day back out there so, all summer because of the hurricanes and um, I've never seen anything like it. It was in over 50 for 50 percent would be conservative as far as the percent of corals bleach out there it's probably higher. When we jumped in the water it looked like a scene out of a, an early um, winter snow. <laughs> um, pretty much everything is white or lightly dusted in white. Uh, it, it almost looks like a, a covering, but it's not. It's the actual corals. We really need to very much change our behaviors on a lot of levels. And it, frankly, it's incredibly easy and it will save us money to reduce our energy usage by even 20%. And imagine paying less, 20% less a month, you know, on your bills. Hey, that's all good for everybody. And the ocean. One of the things that people that have been coming here for years always comment on is the changes they've seen over time. And we're looking at a future where warming oceans are going to, we're going to see events like this a lot more frequently. So yes, it's going to affect tourism. More importantly, um, if a reef isn't growing, it's eroding. And if we can t continue to see mortality, we'll be looking more and more at less structure out there. Um, it, it turns a three-dimensional habitat into a two-dimensional habitat. So it affects everything in the system. On Maui, in particular, I saw a statistic over 70% of our visitors do some sort of ocean activity, and that's huge. I think here locally, we relate to it on a lifestyle level, a cultural level. We need this for shoreline protection. We need it for so many reasons, and everything we do locally to help reduce the stress on these reefs is going to prepare them for to better deal with the global stressors. So we need to do everything we can to reduce land-based pollution and overfishing and malama our reefs and take that very seriously.